Welcome to Physiomedics. In this video, we are going to discuss Crohn's disease. What is Crohn's disease? Crohn's disease is a chronic digestive disorder that causes inflammation and damage in the digestive tract. The disease belongs to a group of conditions called inflammatory bowel diseases (IBD). Crohn's disease most commonly affects the end of the small intestine and the beginning of the large intestine (colon). but inflammation can occur anywhere in the digestive tract there is no cure for crohn's disease but there are many treatments to help manage its symptoms most people with crohn's disease go through periods of remission in which they have no symptoms and flare ups during which symptoms worsen types of crohn's disease there are several different types of crohn's disease categorized by the area of the digestive tract affected ileo colitis this is the most common form of crohn's disease it affects the end of the small intestine ileum as well as the large intestine colon ileitis this form of crohn's disease affects only the ileum crohn's colitis also known as granulomatous colitis This form of the disease affects only the colon. Gastrointestinal Crohn's disease. This form of the disease affects both the stomach and the beginning of the small intestine duodenum. Jejunalitis. This form of Crohn's disease involves patches of inflammation in the upper half of the small intestine which is duodenum. Signs and symptoms of Crohn's disease. No two people experience Crohn's disease in exactly the same way. Your symptoms will depend on what areas of your bowel are affected, as well as how advanced your disease is and how well your treatments are working. Most people with Crohn's disease experience inflammation in both their small intestine and their large intestine, which often causes diarrhea and abdominal pain or cramping. Other common digestive symptoms include rectal bleeding. nausea or loss of appetite an urgent need to defecate and constipation crohn's disease can also cause weight loss fatigue and symptoms outside the digestive system like joint pain red or itchy eyes and inflamed or bumpy skin what are the causes and risk factors of crohn's disease the exact cause of crohn's disease are unknown it may be caused by an autoimmune reaction There is some evidence that the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy bacteria that grow naturally in the human gut. Experts believe a combination of genetic and environmental factors contribute to a person's risk for the disease. Some risk factors for Crohn's disease include genes. While no gene can said to be cause Crohn's disease, scientists have identified more than 200 genetic variation that may raise the risk of the disease. family history crohn's disease appears to run in families about 5 to 20% of people with crohn's disease have a parent or sibling with it if one of your parents has crohn's disease your risk of developing it is about 7 to 9% where you live crohn's disease is more common in developed countries than developing countries it is also common in the urban than rural areas cigarette smoking Smokers are about twice as likely as non-smokers to develop Crohn's disease. Certain drugs, taking antibiotics, birth control pills or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs such as aspirin, ibuprofen or naproxen may slightly raise your risk of developing Crohn's disease. How is Crohn's disease diagnosed? The first step to diagnosing Crohn's disease is complete medical history. a physical exam and a series of tests to rule out other conditions that may cause similar symptoms these include irritable bowel syndrome ibs lactose intolerance and ulcerative colitis during a physical exam a physician will check for bloating swelling and painful or tender spots in your abdomen additional tests are often needed to diagnose crohn's disease and may include blood test stool test colonoscopy upper gi gastrointestinal endoscopy wireless capsule endoscopy 
and imaging tests like x-rays and CT scans. What are the treatment options for Crohn's disease? Treatment for Crohn's disease usually involves a number of different drugs. Some of these drugs are meant to prevent flares of your disease. Periods in which your symptoms return or worsen, others are prescribed to reduce inflammation and treat symptoms when a flare takes place. The doctor may prescribe antibiotics to treat symptoms or complications due to, be, due to a bacterial infection. For most people with Crohn's disease, a time will come when medication alone won't be enough and surgery will be required. Surgical treatments may include removing a diseased area of the intestines, opening or a narrowed or blocked area, or even removing the entire colon. Most surgical treatments allow people with Crohn's most surgical treatment allow people with Crohn's to live symptoms free for up a number of years. Alternative therapies can also help to reduce symptoms and maintain remission. Research shows that supplements like probiotics can reduce the duration of flares.